celebrating the gift of love. 1 John 4, 16 And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Valentine's Day is known around the world as the Day of Love. It's full of hearts and sweethearts, a special day set aside to celebrate love and the love of one's life. While I do love celebrating Valentine's Day, to me, Christmas is really the day of love. After all, it was because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to save the world from sin. John 3.16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And it was because of Jesus Christ's love for the world and pity on mankind that he made himself a willing sacrifice to die on the cross for the sins of the world. Galatians 1, 4 who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God and our Father. Christmas, therefore, is a time to celebrate love, the love of God, the Father, the love of God, the Son, and the love of God, the Holy Spirit. God, in his infinite wisdom, knew that only love could conquer the stain of sin. He knew that only love could conquer death, and God knew that only through the sacrificial love of Jesus Christ could these things be done. Love begins with God, because God is love. 1 John 4, 16, And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Therefore, love is the foundation of life. Consequently, a lack of love, or even feeling that one isn't loved, is the basis for many of life's problems. Regardless if people have money, fame, or fortune, love trumps them all, and God's love is the principal thing. What I love most about the love of God is that it is consistent. God is the same today, yesterday, and tomorrow. People, even in the face of love, will surely let you down because people are not consistent like God as people are imperfect. But God's love is perfect. It can't be improved because God is perfect. 2 Samuel twenty-two thirty-one. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. Therefore, God's love is the love that you can count on always and forever. As Christmas approaches, focus on the sacrificial love of God. Focus on the consistent love of God. Focus on the merciful love of God, the gracious love of God, the mighty love of God, the healing love of God, the wonderful love of God. Allow this love to transform you, not just for Christmas, but every day of your life. Romans 12, 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. People love to spend Christmas with family and loved ones. In these days leading up to Christmas, set aside time to spend with the most special one of all, the one who loves you so much that he exchanged his loving home in glory for this mean, cruel world. The one who longs to hear you say to him, I love you, Lord. That one is Jesus Christ. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas per se, now in the moment is always the perfect time to show God love. Challenge yourself to set aside special time this week to just show the Lord how much you love him and to soak in his love. And if this is something you always do, 
then challenge yourself to try new ways of showing the Lord your love. As the warmth of the fireplace warms the home, let this week be a time to kindle and rekindle your love for Jesus Christ. You are guaranteed to experience something new, something grand, something exceptional, something miraculous, something positively supernatural, something divine because you will experience the love of the Lord in a brand new way. Prayer, dear Father God, thank you, Lord, for the gift of love, the gift of you, the gift of Jesus Christ, and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Lord, your love is the only love that is perfectly consistent and consistently perfect. This week, I will do something new to show my love to you, and I will spend time just soaking in your love. I'm excited, Lord, to spend time with you, the most important love of my life, and I'm looking to be transformed through the experiences. I ask that you do a new thing in me, Holy Spirit, and I claim it right now in your mighty name. I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.